Buenas noches. Buenas noches, buenas noches. Ay, disculpen la sí, tardanza, bien, pero me estaba cambiando de una clase a otra y nunca habría Zoom. No problem, teacher. Okay, actually, We it's raining. All right, thank huh? you. Thank you for waiting. Good it's good evening. It's raining right now. So well, there's going to be like some issues with the internet connection. But in case you have like some issues, let me know, please. My camera right now is working properly, so no problem. All right, so yesterday we were practicing some expressions using direct and indirect uh, questions, correct? Right. Right. Uh, we're going to start in order and one of you is going to say the direct uh, question, okay? And the second one is going to change the direct question to the indirect question. I'm going to start uh, with, let's see, Anna. Anna, direct question. And then Oscar, the indirect question. Thank you. Uh, where do you go yesterday? Where did you go yesterday? Yes. Hi, Carlos. How are you? Hi, teacher. Sorry to be late. It's okay. <laughs> I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Thanks for asking. Okay. Where did you go yesterday, Oscar? Um, I'm... I went to San Carlos in Morazan. Okay, the answer is correct. However, we are changing from direct to indirect question. What are some expressions well, that we can use in the indirect structure? Um, could you tell me where could do you, you... Could you tell you, me? Mm -hmm. Will you tell me uh, where did you go yesterday where you went where you went where, where oh. you went where you went yesterday yesterday uh-huh yes what other expressions can you use beside could you tell me okay so that is the first one could you tell me uh-huh give me could more could you tell me that's the first one uh-huh do you know do you know okay Type other ones. Type other ones on the chat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> other examples that we can use. Do you happen to know? That's another one. Do you happen to know? Do you happen to know? Do you happen to know is like when you say in Spanish, por casualidad. Do you happen, do you happen, do you happen to, know. to know or do you happen to have? Por casualidad sabes or por casualidad tienes. Do you happen to know? Mm -hmm. Do you happen to know? Do you happen to have? And there are many people that don't know this expression. And when they say, I mean, when they listen to the word or the expression, do you happen to know or do you happen to have? They say, what? <laughs> mm -hmm. They don't know that expression. But okay. now you are learning advanced expressions. That's good. All right. All right. Awesome. Uh, can you please tell me, Oscar said, uh huh. Give me another one. May I know? May I know? Uh huh. What other one can you use? What other expression? May I know where did you go yesterday? Mm hmm. May I know where you go, where you went? I went. Yesterday. May I ask? May I ask? May I ask? Uh-huh. 
may I ask where do you went? Where Anita. you went? Where you went? Mm -hmm. May I ask Thank where you, you went? Uh huh. Give me more examples. Okay, those are the expressions that you can use for the indirect questions. Now, Oscar, eh, you are going to provide the direct question and Vicente the indirect question. Okay. Direct and indirect. Uh, direct question. Um... When do you come to Morazan? Uh -huh. When? Uh, and the right question could be, uh, uh, could you tell me when do you went to Morazan? No, don't invent. <laughs> Could you tell me when you go to Morazan? Okay. Okay, that's much better. Okay. Uh, Vicente, you... yes. uh, direct question and Sandra, indirect question. Do you know if, if it's raining? Right now? Do you know if it's if it is raining right now? Okay. But that's the indirect. Está uh, okay. Eh, Reseteamos, Vicente. ¿Qué nos pasa ahora? Is a uh, ah direct. No, no, Reset, reseteémonos. Usted es uno de los mejores, pero está como mezclando todo. Much. <laughs> Sorry. Reseteamos, eh. olvidémonos del trabajo y enfoquémonos en la clase. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, so eh, you need to provide a direct question. And Sandra is going to change the direct question to the indirect question. From direct to indirect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you know um, what time is it? Do you know what time is it? Mm -hmm. No, pero ahí lo está cambiando a indirect question. Usted tiene que decirlo direct question. ¿Cómo, cómo hiciera una pregunta directa? Usted. If you would like to know about the time, what would be your direct question? What time is it? Exactly. What time is it? Simple. Thank you very much. <laughs> what time is it? Sandra, change it. Uh, O'clock. Uh... What? Change the same se the same question, Carlos. What time is it? Okay, uh, could you tell me what time it is? Thank you. Carlos, uh, ask a direct question to Maria Jose. Okay, uh, what is the best t-shirt? <laughs> what, are you sure? <laughs> hay, no, hay algo no. que le faltó ahí. Yes. Uh... <laughs> uh -huh. oh. What, where, no. where are, where, where uh -huh. are, no, where is, no, no. What do, what's the WH word that we use for people? Who? Uh, who? Thank who? you. Uh -huh. who now is... you can ask the direct question. Okay. Who is uh -huh. the best teacher? <laughs> okay. That can be one. All right. Now change that a direct question to the indirect question, Maria Jose. Okay. Can you tell me who is the best teacher? No. How, what happens with the bird to be? Se va para pasado. Se pasa pasado, ¿verdad? No. Uh -uh. 
What happened, guys? I gave you the, the examples yesterday. What time? Do you? Can you tell me who are the best teacher? Uh, uh no. <laughs> R, tell me the best R is theory. for singular or for plural? It's singular. R, no. R is para, para plurales. Okay, Edgar. Change the, the question to the indirect question. Uh, could you tell me who, who the best teacher is? Excellent. An applause. Great job. Is is at the end, okay? With the indirect question. And who, Carlos, is for people? What is for things and animals? Okay, sorry, teacher. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, Andrea, a direct question, and then Carlos is going to change it to the indirect question. Direct question for Carlos. What is your name? Excellent. Direct question, simple. What's your name? Mm -hmm. Could you tell me what your name is? Excellent. Let's give an applause to Carlos. Great job, Excellent. Carlos. Is is at the end, all right? Could you tell me what your name is? Great. Awesome. Uh, Edgar, direct question and Luis, indirect question. Who is Luis? That is correct. Uh, One more time. Who is Luis? Mm -hmm. Who's Luis? Can, can you tell me who? Um, Mm -hmm. Who he is? Okay, or uh, could you tell me who Luis is? Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Or who he is? Who he is? It's okay, but the correct answer or the correct sentence who Luis is? Okay, thank you. Luis, direct question to Giovanni. Okay. Uh, what is your last name? Uh huh. What's your last name? Simple question, correct? Giovanni, change it. Giovanni, are you there? Okay, lower this. Change it. What's your last name? What's your last name? Could you tell me what uh, your last name is? Excellent. An applause for Lourdes. Great job. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Now, guys, today we're going to continue. Remember that this week you need to finish the platform, correct? The unit right. three and also the uh, mid, mid -term. Term, mid term, okay? Mid -term. mid term. All right, uh, let's see something here, real quick. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's raining, not heavy, but I mean, it's affecting the signal. I was able to finish the, the first class, so it was great even though it was raining in some places in the country, but at the end, we were able to make it. So hopefully that could be the same thing for your class, all right? Just give me some seconds. We have intermediate one, all right? And we are going to continue. Do you remember the last topic that we studied yesterday? We were talking about uh, evaluation of houses and apartments. Evaluation of, of, of houses and apartments. Okay. 
And what were some sentences, I mean, some words that we were using or some expressions? What were some expressions that we were using? Okay, two. Uh -huh. uh, too small, big enough. Mm -hmm. uh, um. <clears throat> What else? There was some. Uh... Enough. Uh huh. Use as many as. Okay. Thank you. All right. So we were using, let's see. Let's see something here. Give me some seconds. Teacher, uh, I want to tell you something. In mm -hmm. I was working in in the platform, mm -hmm. but in, in one exercise, yeah. Um, there are two audios, but one mm -hmm. of them mm -hmm. it doesn't work. Ah, don't, don't worry. Why. Ah, don't worry. There, there is something you can do, like a troubleshooting. I'm going to help you with that, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, actually, this one was the... Uh, and I want to listen to Maria Jose. Read the lesson objective, please. Okay, lesson objective. Practice mm -hmm. using objectives and nouns to express comparisons in English. In this lesson, practice comparing house and apartment to express similarities, similarities or differences. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Additionally, learn how to use the expression of one city like just as, mm -hmm. enough, or too much to mm -hmm. modify adjectives and nouns. For example, use a comfortable or few to few clothes. So, and yesterday we watched the video, all right? And now we are going to complete this uh, knowledge check. Okay, I need some volunteers to complete the knowledge check. The first one, who wants to complete the first one? Who's ready for the first one? It says, which is correct? Who's ready for the first one? Uh huh. Okay. In my opinion, houses are just as expensive as apartments in my neighborhood. Thank you. The number three. Thank you. Next, number two. My neighbor's house has five bedrooms, but my house. Vicente. Uh, number, number two, as big as his. As big as his, are you sure? Are you sure? Okay, let me check. Mm -hmm. But my house isn't as big as his, I guess. Okay, thank you. The last one. Okay. Uh, next volunteer for the number three, it says, I don't like to live in apartments because, who's ready? Oscar. I don't like to live in apartments because they don't have as much rooms as houses. Thank you. And the last one, number four, my new house doesn't have... Mm -hmm. Who's ready? Me, teacher. Yes, thank you. As much space as my old house. Doesn't have... 
a smash. A smash. Okay. Space. Space as my as my old house. Okay, let's see. Let's see the answer. Aha. Uh -huh. There is one incorrect. Let's check the number three. I guess it's the first option. I don't like to be in an apartment because they don't have don't have as many, many rooms as houses. As houses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because much is for uncountable. 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 And rooms is countable. Countable, right. So as many is as for many countables. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. There you go. You got 100. Great. Got it. Yeah. All right. Let's continue with the next lesson objective. Carlos, read it, please. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Uh, expressing wishes and desires is a big part of communicating with friends. Mm -hmm. Learn how to express wishes that you have about your personal life career or health. This lesson from English teacher Joe Science explains how to use the verb to wish in the present tense and combine it with a past tense verb to express wishes. For example, I wish I didn't live with my parent. I wish I had a different job or I wish I were thinner. This lesson includes an oral language comprehension exercise. Mm -hmm. Exercise, thank you. Let's take notes because we're going to work on those exercises. I think it's loading. Once you can, you can listen and watch to the video, just let me know, please. Just give me some seconds. Hello, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to express Ready. wishes that you have about your personal life, career, and health. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job. I wish I were thinner. Before I present the material, what I would like for you to do is to listen to an audio program that illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and complete some questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay. But my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could. But where else can I get free room and board? Yeah, it's sometimes pretty hard to pay the rent. I'm thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, uh, maybe. Now let me start by presenting the structure. The first thing that I would like to point out is that we use wish plus a past tense in order to refer to present wishes. For example, if I have a situation that is true for me, such as I live with my parents and I would like for that to be something different, that is a wish that I have. In order for me to express that idea, I will say I wish I didn't live with my parents. 
or I wish I had my own apartment. Um, if I think that life is difficult, for example, this is my present situation. If I want to express a wish that I have about that particular situation, then I will say, I wish life were easier or I wish it weren't so difficult. Let's try to make sense of the examples that are on this chart. In order for us to understand those examples, what I would like to do is I would like to propose this formula here at the bottom. And so what we want to do is we want to take certain situations that exist in our lives and then we want to express wishes about those situations. The example that is stated here is I live with my parents. I would like for that to be something different, right? And so in order for me to express that idea, I'm going to have a subject. So in this case, the subject is I, and then this is going to follow wish plus the subject again. And now the subject could be you again, or it could be another person, right? I wish I, and then the verb in its past form. So in this case, it happens to be that it's on a negative form. So we use didn't plus live. So I wish I didn't. And then whatever compliment, right? Didn't live with my parents. There we go. There we go. And as you can see, the other example is quite similar. I wish I had my own apartment. In that second example, we can see that it's no longer in its negative form. So therefore, we're going to use the verb in the past. So the example will be, I wish I had my own apartment. So this is going to be in the past. So let's try to make sense of that second example there. I can't move out. So what happens there? I can't move out. The only thing that changed was that I'm using a model verb instead of a regular verb. Um, but what you got to remember here is that the model bird can, the past of that is could. And so it's basically the same concept, right? We're going to say, I wish. And then we're going to have a subject again. I wish I. So what is the past of can? Well, we can easily say that it is could, right? There we go. Could. So that's basically what we're going to put here. I wish I could. move out. Now let's try to make sense of the example, life is difficult. As you can see, the verb that we're using there is the verb to be. And something that I would like for you to learn at this point is that whenever we express wishes, we're going to use where for all of the pronouns. It doesn't matter if we're talking about I, he, she, it, we, you, or they. For all of them, we're going to use where. And so that's basically what's um, here at the bottom, after which where is used with all pronouns. So if we think about the example, life is difficult, and we want to express a wish, then we can say, I wish. And the subject, again, life. Where easier. Uh, and of course, you can make that in a negative statement. I wish life weren't so difficult. But it's basically the same pattern that we're following. In the last example, my parents won't stop worrying about me. Well, what happens here is that I'm using the contraction there. So my parents won't stop worrying about me. In that particular case, I'm going to turn want or will not into would, right? So I wish, and in this case, subject, my parents would stop, and then whatever compliment, right? What kind of wishes do you have about your life? And as I mentioned at the beginning of class, 
we want to express personal wishes, we want to express family wishes, we want to express health wishes, we want to express professional wishes, if you will. So I'm just going to have a series of wishes here, right? So what kind of wishes do you have about your bedroom? So an easy example, I wish my bedroom were bigger. What kind of wishes do you have about your school or job? Well, I wish my job were easier. What kind of wishes do you have about your appearance, the way that you look? Well, I wish I were thinner. What kind of wishes do you have about your family? I wish I had two children, right? And what kind of wishes do you have about your possessions? Well, I don't have a car, so I wish I had a car. That's a, just a quick example. Um, and what kind of wishes do you have about your skills? I don't know how to program computers. I wish I knew how to program computers. And so on and so forth. So I would like for you to come up with your own examples about the kind of wishes that you have about yourself, about your family, about your health, about your skills. Okay, guys. Basically, you need to uh, mix some sentences structure. Like, for example, let me go ahead and stop sharing. Okay, because we're going to complete some exercises. You need to mix some examples. So if you see that simple present, simple present plus simple past. I mean, plus wish, simple present plus wish, plus simple past, simple past. That's the first expression. For example, simple present, you can say that traffic is horrible. Okay? The, let's see, um, the, the traffic today is crowded, for example. So in that case, you are going to say, I wish it weren't crowded. I wish it weren't crowded. But in that, uh, in the case of um, simple present plus wish plus simple past, you can say, um, my brother, my brother, um, my brother live in the USA. Okay. So that's the sentence in the in the in the present right my brother lives in the usa so the expression will be i wish i wish he didn't go he didn't go there he didn't go there is it clear he didn't he didn't he, uh, he didn't he didn't go there if you see, there you can see, there you can see the uh, structures on the uh, on the zoom shot. All right. So okay. my brother lives in the USA. I wish he didn't go there. Okay. So you can also say, I uh, play. I play soccer just on weekends, on weekends, okay? So that's the, that's the expression in the simple present. I play soccer just on weekends. I wish, okay, I wish I had more time to play at least, at least, twice a week or three times a week, twice a week. 
Is it clear? Clear. I wish I, I play had soccer more just on weekends. I wish I had, I forgot I. I wish I had I more had time more to time. play at least twice a week. Okay. Another one. My computer, computer doesn't work. My computer doesn't work. Okay, what's my wish? My wish is, I wish I bought, I wish I bought a, a better brand. I wish I bought a better brand. That's the brand. first option, okay? My computer doesn't work. That's the situation. So did you have to play with the situation? And also with your wish, lo que deseas, o como desearías que esa, que esa situación fuera diferente. Ok, mi computadora no funciona. Desearía haber, haber comprado una mejor eh, marca. Ok, I wish I had bought, I wish I bought a better brand. Or I wish I didn't buy uh, this brand is that clear with that one with the first option <clears throat> clear clear okay second option you have birth to be birth to be plus wish and weren't Okay, normally you use was for I, he, she, and it. And you use where for we, you, and they. But in the, in the case of wish, you are going to use weren't or where for all of them. For I, you, he, she, and it, we, you, and they. Just for wishes. Is it clear? Wish okay. and where. Wish and where. Uh huh. That's the second option. So, first option is the mix of simple present and simple past. I mean, wish and simple past. Is that clear? Second yeah. option the verb to be plus wish and where or where and. For example, uh, my car is ugly. That's the situation. My car is ugly. I wish uh, it, were, it were a Ferrari, for example. Okay. Because Ferrari, no matter if they are old, they always look nice, right? My car is ugly. I wish it were a Ferrari. Okay. I wish it mm -hmm. were a Ferrari. Okay. So the the wish. the other situation is I'm let's see. My father is poor. Okay. So that's the situation. So I wish he were rich or he were a businessman businessman does it make sense i live i live far from my work i wish i didn't live far from my work thank you liz exactly that's a really good uh, example okay so the traffic is so heavy i wish um there weren't too too much i mean too many cars i wish it weren't too many cars is it clear with a second second example yes Yes, it's clear. Okay. 
So, and you also have the mix of simple future, simple future, plus wish and would. And would. Okay? <clears throat> so, simple future. I won't go to uh, to the trip. <clears throat> I won't go to the trip. I won't go to the trip to the trip. That's the simple future. I wish I would save a lot of money. A lot of money. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I will. Let's see. I will have a lot of uh, work this weekend. Work this weekend. I will have a lot of work this weekend, okay? That's the situation. I wish I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste my time, okay? That's my wish. Desearía no haber perdido mi tiempo. Does it make sense? Is that clear or do you have any other, do you have any question? Guys? It's clear for me. Clear. Okay, so you had the first option. Simple present plus simple past. Okay. Second option. Bird to be plus where or where in. Third option, simple past, I mean, simple future plus wish and would. One more time. First option, simple present plus wish and simple past. Second option, bear to be plus wish and where or where end. Third option, uh, simple future plus wish and would. And we have a, we have the last option, the option number three. Okay, I can. Oh, you have a can, okay, plus wish and could. For example, let me stop the video because it's, it's being played. Okay. So you had the, the, the last option. Can plus wish and could, okay? So you can say, I can't drive the car, that's a situation. So we're talking about situations and also wishes. Las situaciones y los deseos. I can't drive my car, okay? What will be your wish? I wish I could go to the driving school. Is it clear? So situations plus wishes. Is that clear? Clear. Okay. If, it is, if it is clear, 
Vicente, give me the first option, your ideas. Okay. First option. I can't swim. That's your situation, uh, uh huh? That's the situation, right. What's your wish? I wish, I wish I could go to a, a swimming classes. Go to swimming classes, excellent. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, now give me, I'm going to give you just the combination and, and then you will give me the ideas, okay? Carlos, the combination with the simple present and simple past. Simple present, present simple present and simple past. The situation and your wish. Okay. Um my car is doesn't work. Ah no, give me another one. That's those are my ideas. Use different <laughs> ideas. Okay, okay. Uh, make make your brain work. <laughs> Right now I am a little Lost. tired. Oh, you're tired. It's okay. okay. Let, it's the yeah. middle of, of the week. Yes. It's late. Okay. Um um Uh -huh. Can you give me one example? If uh, that is correct. Are you going to give me one example or would you like me to give you one example? Can I give you oh, okay. my example? Yes. Go okay. ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the first I... option, the first option, the, the, the combination of simple present plus wish and simple past. Uh, I want to study French. Okay. I didn't have enough time. Mm, but you're yeah. you're missing wish. I I wish I didn't have enough time. Mm -mm. No. I wish I had more time to study French or to study that that uh, language. Remember, is the combination of simple present plus wish uh, and okay. simple past. I wish I didn't have enough time. Mm -mm. I wish okay, I didn't. You... I had. Aha! Uh -huh. I wish I had enough time enough to time. practice or to study. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Or I wish I didn't waste my time. <laughs> you can say. It. Okay, Carlos. Okay. <laughs> uh, give me give me one one, one minute more. It's I'm okay. <laughs> Sorry. Your <laughs> Wi-Fi is loading. <laughs> yes, right <So>, now. <laughs> Sarai, give me uh, your examples using um the bird to be plus wish and where or where end. Uh huh. Sarai, ready? No, no chance. Mm. The bird to be plus wish, where or where end? Okay. Mm. I can't ride a bicycle. I wish 
my parents. Hmm. No, but using verb to be and can't is not verb to be. Okay. Okay, let, let me share the computer screen and let's see how, how we do that exercise. Okay. And then we can practice a little bit more. Don't worry, be happy. Okay. Try to be happy. Can I give you my some? <laughs> okay. Got yes. My, my internet is it's moving. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. I wash my cloth, my cloth two times a week by hand. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I wish I had to wash machine washer machine. I in wish I had a washing machine. I, yes, an applause. Okay. Great job. Got it. Okay, got it, so. Got it. I wash my clothes by hand, by hand twice a week, okay? I wish I had a washer machine. Great, great job. Excellent. Awesome. Okay, uh, this is the example oh. Vicente was asking yeah, right. about the video, okay? Mm -hmm. So what you need to do is to click on this part first. Oh. And then okay. the system is going to open a new tab. And you will be able to listen to the conversation. It says, instructions, read and listen to the following conversation and answer the questions. That's what we are going to do today. But as long as we can listen to it. Only hmm? talk about Terry. Okay. Let's see. Okay. What kinds of wishes does Terry have? Okay, let's listen to the wishes. And don't get confused because you have, let me write it here for you not to get confused. You have wish, wish, you have wish, Okay. Oh, sorry about that one. Letter T. Mm -hmm. This is C and H. And T. Ah, wish. H. And you yeah. also have which. 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 Okay. Deseo, cual y bruja. Wish, wish, and wedge. Okay. Let's listen to the, the audio. The audio. Mm -hmm. Making changes. Part A. Listen and practice. Can you listen? Just we listen. Yeah, yeah. just we listen. So, are you still living with your parents, yes. Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could, but where else can I get free room and board? Oh, sorry, I wasn't mute. What kinds of wishes uh, does Terry have? He wishes he had his own apartment. 
Uh -huh. and, and the life was in... wasn't. So wasn't. So difficult. Okay. What kinds of wishes does Brian have? <clears throat> They were just talking about Terry, right? That's the yeah. only one. Yes. Okay. The audio is, it doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay. It's all right. I'm going to report that. Okay. And he says, what kinds of wishes does Brian have? Mm -hmm. He wishes he's had, I mean, he had his own apartment and that life wasn't so difficult. He wishes he and, worked somewhere else and lived somewhere more exciting. Okay, according to the structure, we're going to select that option. And this one, he says, rewrite the following sentence using wish. Laura doesn't have any free time. Okay, if you see the structure here is the simple present. What's the combination with, when you have simple present? Wish and? Simple past. Okay. Uh, what would be the best option? Okay, Laura wishes she had some free time. Laura wishes she uh, has some free time. Had, First, I, I, second or third option? Uh, Laura second option? No. Porque aquí estás usando el presente simple, presente option. simple. Yes, the first option. The, the first. simple past. First, right. Wishes in simple past. Have some free time. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Just men have been participating. Just male participation. I have been having just male participation. But I want to have female participation. So it says, rewrite the following sentence using wish. Dan can't fit into his old genes. Uh -huh. Female participation. The second one, Dan wishes he could fit into uh -huh. his old genes. Thank you. The combination of can't or can plus could, right? Good. Wish and could. Let's see. The answer. Yay, we got it. We got it right. Excellent. Great. Okay. Now, to matter, we are going to complete... We are going to complete the uh, midterm, okay? Because on Friday, you will be able to complete that information, okay? The unit three. In the meantime, I'm going to ask you to provide the situation and also, uh, but keep in mind the structures, okay? Keep in mind the structures. Alrighty. So who wants to start with this? I'm going to start with the situation. Okay. The situation. Um, let's see. I can't talk in German. That's my situation. I can't talk in German. Who wants to give me the wish? I can't talk in German. Mm -hmm. You you wish could study no or or go to study i wish i, I, I wish I, go, I could go in german i wish i could go I to german go. and learn yeah. german right there to germany and and learn german right there germany is the country and german is the language Okay, so another situation. This class is so exciting. Or let's say this class is so difficult. Give me a wish. The class wish. I wish it it were a easy easy class, more easy. It were easy or easier. 
No encontré Mauricio. Or less difficult. It were Sorry. less difficult. It were okay. less difficult. Exactly. It were uh, less difficult. I won't be able to pay the apartment this month. That's my situation. Give me uh, your wish. I won't be able to pay the apartment this month. I wish I you wish will have more money. I wish I would have more money. Excellent, Carlos. Great job. Ya despertó. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the class. At the end of the class. No, yo sé que es cansado, créanme que yo los entiendo. Yo trabajo con dos monitores en mi segundo trabajo. Entonces, recibo pero sin fin de correos. Ajá. Así que entiendo que al final del día uno se queda como bloqueado de la mente, pero hay, hay que resetearse. Sí, no, la verdad que sí. Vaya, un minuto para hacer preguntas. ¿Alguna duda que tengan? ¿Todo claro? Todo, Todo claro, claro, pero hay que practicar. Hey, ok, hay, we're hay going to continue practicing to matter, all right? I'm going to yeah, bring right. some other uh, examples for you to understand it better. Ok, yeah. guys. Okay. Los dejo hasta acá. Si no han cenado, buen provecho. Gracias. Yes, Thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, Bye. everybody. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye.